Uh, I am your host, Dorothy Cassisari, and I'm so happy that you guys uh, tuned in to the In Touch Weekly Show here on Pal Talk. It's always a lot of fun hearing from you and being very interactive. It just makes it a lot more fun, and the time flies by always. And I'd love to thank my fantastic guest, Kim Donaldson, who is the co-founder yep. of Bottle Notes, and which just launched weeklypint.com, which is a really, really fun website, very, very user-friendly. If you sign up, you can get bi-weekly emails in your yep. inbox all about beer and you know all the great questions that you asked today. You can go on there and you can shoot off emails and they can all be answered. Yeah. And I yeah. love it. So thank you again for tuning in. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Dorothy Lauren and like I said on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Dorothy TV page. There was an article recently. Um, I was actually walking up Sixth Avenue, and you know how they have news going along the side of a building, and I saw a man who did red wine study on your heart admits he faked it or something, something oh great my like that. And I was like, oh no. He but, just he just wanted to drink red wine. But that was one <laughs> one guy who did one study. Um, right. But no, red wine is good for your health in moderation. It's right. good for a lot of different and parts of your health. Is it I think that I've read it's something about antioxidants that are in red wine that aren't necessarily as prevalent in white wine. Yep. And that's why they always say red wine is, yep. you know, the one to reach for if you're trying to better your health and yep. enjoy your afternoon or your evening. <laughs> they get more of the, the skins from the red grapes okay. that actually get into the wine and that has the tannins and things that have the antioxidants. So. Got it. So what, what did you pour here? All right, so this is Firestone Walker, which is a grape brewery out in Paso Robles, California, which is okay. known for its wine. And actually, the Firestone family had Firestone Vineyards. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Yep. And I knew a, there was a celebrity yeah, tie-in. There's a celebrity tie-in. I thought to myself, Firestone. Now, that yes. sounds interesting, but I bet that people that have wineries don't do beer. Well, they sold their winery. Um, Andrew Firestone, right. who was he a was, Marine. He was, no, no, no. A, 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 no was, Adam Firestone, okay, the, father, the father, was a Marine sergeant turned vintner. And his son, Andrew, um, was on The Bachelor. Right, um, exactly, and, and now, he's so cute, and he's married now to a model. Well, and he actually is the sales manager at Firestone Walker, and the other founder is a British technology entrepreneur. Um, but so they started this brewery, and they make all different kinds of um, crap, small micro-brews. Okay. Uh, this one is Double Jack. It's a, what they call a double IPA, which just means a stronger version, a little more oomph. It smells it. really good. Yeah. I wish everybody could smell it. It smells kind of like cinnamon or something to me. Exactly. I right? get it. It's funny because in, in wow. India Pale Ale, IPA, mm -hmm. um, you think double jack. It sounds sort of tough and rough. But if you smell this beer, you get like pineapple, coconut. Right. It's, it's, it's it, like, and it's so good. It, it's very so aromatic. It's okay, soft let's try this. and tons of body. Heidi Klum and Seal split, which a lot of people were really shocked about. And I, I was saying earlier that on my Facebook page, uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's facebook.com backslash Dorothy TV page. It's a public page. And there's a lot of conversations on there with people, which I really enjoy. I always love hearing feedback. Uh, and I was saying on my Facebook page that uh, Seal has always gotten such a, a bad rap with being with Heidi Klum. You know, you would think it'd be the kind of thing where it would make him cooler that he has the supermodel girlfriend, but really it's made him more of a target in terms of the late night talk show hosts making jokes at his expense right. and that sort of thing. Uh, and people were, you know, really kind of vocal about the fact that it's a shame, uh, it's a shame that, you know, he is so vilified in that way. But I have to say, you know, I've always been a fan of his. She's always spoken so highly of him in the media, but now we're finding out through sources that perhaps he really wasn't the perfect husband that she always touted him to be. And a source says that uh, Seal himself has bragged, you know, that he has cheated before his marriage to Heidi. And, you know, that's not really something you want to <clears throat> really air and, and put out there uh, so much. Uh, but also, you know, he apparently has a very, very explosive temper, which I was surprised about. He seems very mild-mannered, but um, <clears throat> I just thought it might be, you know, worth it to kind of share with you the, the flip side of it, because everybody's thinking, you know, oh, like, that's such a sad thing, and who knows, maybe it really wasn't all rainbows <clears throat> and butterflies as it was, you know, expected to be.